My name is Robot Face, and today I am going to talk about the 3D Creator. We've been waiting for it for a while now, but hopefully it comes out this year. Anyways, how about we look at some of the pictures Jeff posted on Twitter? Because they have some pretty cool things. Okay, so here we have some textures of blocks that we can use when the creator comes out. And I'm very happy about this. There's a heckload of stuff like wood, brick, stone, sand, and different variants of them. We're gonna have a lot of styles to work with. Which is always good. So here's a picture of the graphic creator. It looks pretty nice, and Jeff drew a spider on it. There's also some gritty color things at the bottom of the palette. I don't know what that is. Not much here, to be honest. Actually, there's another picture of the graphics creator. Although older than the picture I just shown, it shows more stuff. For example, there are drawing tools on the right side of the graphics creator. It seems there's a tool for drawing rectangles, which is nice. There also seems to be more buttons outside the graphics creator. Nothing too interesting, but you can examine it for yourself. So, I don't know what to make out of this picture. I think the hearts represent a amount of health. I have no clue what the sword and shield icons mean, but you can decide for yourself, I suppose. Okay, now to the spicy stuff. In this picture, there seems to be a orange brick room with a pool in the middle. There's also a green idiot staring at you like he wants to kill you. There's a weird wave-like thing coming out of his head. Well, behind him, there is a coin, a potion, and a key. The coin probably gives you score, the potion I'm guessing heals you or gives you a boost, and the key opens something obviously. Then, on the top left corner, there is a thing that looks like health. And on the top right corner, there is a thing that looks like score. Pretty big teaser here. Alright, some interesting stuff here. So, earlier, we looked at the graphics creator. And there seems to be some graphics showing body parts of characters. I guess it's like platformer, where you have to put body parts in the graphic creator in certain places for it to work. On the left there is weight, gender, and head height bars. On the right, there is an item selection thing with a wooden and iron shield. We'll look more into items in the next picture. Here we go. On the top, there is an enemy with an axe. Behind him is a purple crystal. I don't know what that does, to be honest. Okay, to the spicy part of this picture. There is a selection of items below. There is the wooden and iron shield we saw in the picture before this, along with the enemy's axe. There is also a wand, armor, a knife, and other stuff. I guess the point of this selection thing is so you can give weapons to enemies and put them around the map for the player to get. Seems to be pretty RPG-like. Which is pretty lit. You know what's funny? Jeff is a master website creator and is overall very good with computers, but he doesn't even have a screenshot software so he simply uses a camera. Anyways, this is pretty big. Jeff said once there would be flow logic in the creator, and this teaser proves it. So, the code here simply says that if a attack hits minus 10 health, and when the attack, well, starts, it defends. I don't get the part. There are A and B slots like in normal flow logic. In the bottom, it seems to say this. When attack starts, if health is higher than 10, then lose 10 health. I think, anyway. Let's move on. Now on to something I think also has to do with flow logic. There are several factors and sensor things, so let's look at them. There's on start, which probably means when you start the game. There's on collision, which is when the object collides with a certain thing. There's another on collision thing with a word that is cut out, so I don't know what it is. There's on near in and on near out, which I don't understand, and on near which means when something is near it, I guess. And finally, on range in, which might activate a thing when something is in the object's range. 
There are buttons above these but they don't seem important. Pretty beefy teaser. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new about the 3D creator, sorry if it was a bit boring. I have much more slowed of video ideas, so tell me if you would like to see more. Stay cool folks.